In 2012, the city of Chicago announced a major project to construct a new L station at the intersection of Wabash Avenue and Washington Boulevard. Construction of the $75 million station began in 2015 and is slated to open in late 2017. The station is basically a combination of two existing stations. There used to be one over at Madison down there and Randolph, which is still, still live right now. What you see here, all of this is existing track structure. Uh, so the trains have been running throughout the project. We've had a few weekends where we've shut down and done major work, but for the most part, there's been no disruption to train service in the loop. The original structure and the track structure is from the 1890s and have had minor repairs throughout the years. Did you do any sort of like LiDAR scans of sort of the, like that penetrated the earth to understand what was down there? Or there's been like... every type yeah. of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> A lot of the challenges that we faced on the job have been with utilities that exist in in the street, underneath the street, yeah. that go back, you know, hundreds yeah, yeah, and hundreds yeah. of years that um, needed to move out yeah. of the way. So any of the existing track supporting steel that we have, uh, at nine different bent girder locations, we took down existing columns, completely demolished the existing foundations, uh, entirely new foundations, new columns, all while maintaining um, undisrupted train traffic above. In certain situations, we were at each location supported in a, in a temporary basis, and that had to be uh, fully designed um, to, to really uh, seamlessly take the load from the existing structure, the 100-year-old structure, put it onto something that was constructed while it allows us to put the new steel around it. You know, we are sandwiched. We had an elevation of track that we had to maintain and a platform elevation, and then similarly underneath we had clearances that we had to maintain on Wabash Avenue. So everything did have to happen in there, and that was challenging to work structurally, sizing and numbers to minimize those depths but still provide adequate you know, structure to, to support everything. While there were, I think, advocates for something that was much more historic looking, I think the, 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 the people with the vision kind of won the day to say let's look forward and, and think about transportation going into the 21st century and beyond. This episode of Project Innovation was brought to you by Assemble. Assemble provides instant access to BIM data for AEC workflows. Click to subscribe and see more at BuiltWorlds.com.